Hello students, today we are going to look into the topic uh, Business Process Reengineering. I am Professor K. Kalidas to handle the session for you. So what is meant by Business Process Reengineering? So it is the fundamental rethinking and redesign of a business process to achieve dramatic improvements in critical contemporary measures of performance such as time, quality, service, and cost. So first, what is mean by re-engineering? So an engineering process has been used to manufacture a particular product. Now we are finding out what is the business benefits out of them. If there is any drawbacks in that business process, then the entire process has to be re-engineered so that the profit of that particular business will become high. So this fundamental rethinking and redesigning of the process is called as re-engineering. So where we can do the improvements was in the performance measures like time, quality, service, and cost. So business process is a group of related tasks that use the business resources to provide customer-oriented results in support of the organization's objective. So every organization has an objective to deliver the product to the customers in the right time with the right quality. So what are the related tasks with respect to that particular business? It's called as the business process. Actually, the process is the interrelated activities that converts the inputs into an output. What is the need for re-engineering? Why we have to re-modify our uh, engineering process? So one, the customer demand and the changing needs. So the customer may be expect some innovations in your product. So we have to adapt that particular innovations or particular modifications into the product. Second one is the customer sophistication. So he may expect some facilities out of that particular product. So I have to go for a re-engineering. Local and global competitions. So your competitive products are more uh, beneficial to the customers and it is more sold to the customers. So I have to re rethink my manufacturing processes. Then because of the change in technology, some uh, innovations have, might have come. So how can I incorporate that innovations into my particular product? Then change in customer preferences to compete with other business firms, to resist in the business market, and to incorporate the new developments. So these are few necessities why the companies are going for re-engineering. So what is the characteristics of BPR? So it is the radial improvement. So all of a sudden you cannot demolish the entire manufacturing process and you can establish a new thing. So in a periodical sustainable manner and a stepped approach should be used to towards the improvement of the process. Then integrated change, it means the, the re-engineering what you have proposed should be practical, viable, and realistic. And it should be people-centric. It should always focus on the customer who is going to involve the ideas to you. And it's process-based. So it should add value to the existing process provided. It should meet the necessities of the customer. Then focusing on the end customers in the sense, you should strike a balance between the organization and as well as the customer need. So both should be beneficial while making an re-engineering. So in simple words, re-engineering is the reconstruction of the engineering process to improve my performance. So what are the principles used? 
So organize around the outcomes, not not the task. It means instead of more working on the procedures, just concentrate more on how you can get the output. So it is not like uh, improving the day-to-day -day procedures of a company. It's like improving the entire uh, task so that I can get the output. So I should concentrate on the output. Then identify all the processes in the organization and prioritize them to redesign. So I should know which is the key processes where I can re-engineer. So I should have a hierarchy of that particular process. Then integrating the information processing work into the real work that produces the information. So it means uh, the information for the validation that you get from the customer has to be incorporated in the real-time work. Then treat geographically dispersed resources as though they are centralized. So it should be communicated to all who is doing that business or who is working in that firm. Then link the parallel activities in the workflow instead of uh, just integrating the results. Then put the decision point where the work has to be performed and uh, how to control that particular process. It means as said, when you prioritize the first process where you need the entire re-engineering, so that should be concentrated as the decision point. So capture the information once and at the source. So from the initial point of time itself, we should know how to incorporate the ideas and I have to re-engineer the particular process. So what are the steps? So first one is the preparation for BPR. So now I know the product has to be re-engineered. So I should build a team. I should identify what are my customer objectives. So I should develop a strategy to incorporate the particular ideas. So once the idea has been made for re-engineering, so I should go for the, what are the pro activities that has to be performed and what are the processes to perform and what are the costs involved in it. So everything I have to analyze. So analyzing the particular process then identify the gaps uh, and uh, value adding process that is available right now before re-engineering. So if there is some gap only has to be filled up, then I can incorporate that particular gap alone. While re-engineering, I should not leave the value of the product. So I should concentrate on the particular issue also. Then design to be process. It means you should have a benchmark, you should have a target. So for that target, you have to design the re-engineering process, then validate, then perform the trade-off analysis. It means uh, what are the benefits and what are the drawbacks that you are got after re-engineering that particular product. So comparing between the present status and re-engineered status. Then implement the re-engineered process. So just uh, as a gradual man, first we should have a prototype and we have to simulate that prototype. So once the prototype is good, then I have to go for the training program. So I should also know when I have to exactly re-engineer that particular process. So all this has to be. So once it is implemented, then again, I have to measure how it is going to work. Then thus I got the original target. So if so, is there any possibilities of improvement your particular process again? So all this has to be done. So these are the steps of BPR. So what are the benefits? So once you do that, you can eliminate the waste in the particular process. So significant reduction in cost and time, improvement in the quality and customer service. Then you can have a good competency among the top and low level companies. So in this lecture, we have seen about the business process re-engineering, the need, and what are the principles and steps that are used to implement the BPR process in the industry. So thank you.